Hello and welcome gorgeous Aries. I hope you're all doing well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you of course. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. Okay this one here is your card. Let's see what it reveals. And it is about alchemy, the alchemical artist. It's about creation. It's about manifestation. What I'm hearing, Aries, from spirit is that if you ask, you will receive. There is a prayer. There's a manifestation that is going to come true, a prayer that's going to be answered. So something you're putting out into the world is going to come back to you and there's going to be a manifestation. Something very real is going to come from the efforts that you are making at this time. Beautiful. Let's take a look at this card. So we have the dragon here, divine dragon. Dragons are a symbol of protection. Your guardian angel is standing near. If you're needing to be ferocious in any kind of way or are determined or have confidence in any in any endeavor this weekend in the weeks ahead know that you have this divine energy coming through from your guardian angel represented by the divine dragon bloom where you are planted so this energy here is um about creation as well as you can see it's about the where you are you're going to be uh, what you are creating where you are is going to become quite something it's uh, connected into the energy of um, the the artist the um, the manifester um, the connection into source energy and all creation so there's definitely something showing up here, Aries, where you're wanting to manifest or create something you're praying about and you're going to have the, um, you will be able to see these blessings flow. You'll be able to see this energy flow into your life. It is on the way. It seems to be where you are now is important, where you are is important, what you're doing, uh, maybe a situation that's happening right now is important, and um, perhaps you are going to be blooming where you are at right now. So things are going to take off in an environment that you're attached to at the moment or involved with at the moment. The universe, this is the God card. This is the energy of the universal flow and the divine blessings coming upon you. And it all connects in because well, your prayer is going to be answered. You have your guardian angel here listening to these prayers, taking it to the universe, taking it to God. It seems to be a nice um, um, bloom or um, fruitfulness uh, that's going to come about. And you'll start to see this energy take place. Things will work in your favor over the next few weeks. Guidance for Aries, please, Spirit. Let's see what we have here. So we have the owl energy. Your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. So we have uh, someone in spirit. Someone in spirit is looking out for you. And they're going to bring through um, a message that's important or just a sign that they are close by. And we have the Wolverine. You're a lot tougher than you think you are. You have a lot more strength than you realize. You are tougher and stronger and you have more perseverance than you realize or it's someone else realizes as well. You have the tiger energy here. You're being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. So it's about having confidence in yourself and moving forward with this mindset. You're going to have to step up into a leadership role soon, whether this is in your work or it might be in your personal life. You're stepping up into leadership. And accept a situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. So there is a, yeah, something you might be wanting to fight against or something in the past that you have fought against and it's not doing you any favors at all. It's about accepting the situation and you'll move forward in a positive way. 
for you. So that acceptance might be difficult though, okay? So that's why it's showing up. That's why it's there because it might be difficult to do. Death is about an ending. I am learning that endings are merely beginning. So we have an ending, a new beginning, but a finalization, uh, maybe a loss or disappointment has gone along with this. But it is the, if something has recently ended, know that there is a new beginning here. Know that there, that uh, something better is on the way for you than what this represented, what you have lost. Having gratitude and keeping um, a gratitude heart or a thankful heart. Uh, you may like to write down daily affirmations of gratitude. This can be very helpful and uplifting. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And that's the affirmation you might like to use. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And sometimes this means that there needs to be a change that includes an ending. Having humor in a situation is important. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Try and do this throughout the week. You'll find it uplifts your spirits and you'll find you'll be able to uh, be more in your center, be more grounded and to not let your mind get away from you with negative thoughts. There is an opportunity here coming up an opportunity um, that you've been waiting for. You know, it could be, I actually feel because we have the message of blooming. You know, we have the blooming flower here. So this opportunity might be to do with this energy. Where are you wanting to extend yourself? Where are you wanting to put your energy? Where are you wanting to be fruitful? There's an opportunity there for you. And I am sensing for someone that this opportunity was going to come out of the blue. It's going to come out of nowhere. And acceptance is needed. Maybe acceptance of this opportunity. But also we have this card here, um, which suggests that rather than fighting against something that's happened or happening, it's important to accept it. Freedom, you're moving toward freedom, which is an amazing feeling. You're in fact shedding the old, which might be what this death energy represents. You're shedding an old way of doing something or an old situation. So you can move more into being free and not held back or burdened by a situation. You do have protection. Yes, protection. Uh, that's what this beautiful divine dragon is showing up for. Let's see what this deck reveals for you, Aries. The Ten of Spring. You're working far too hard. And the stress will soon become too much. So make sure that you're aware of how you are, how much energy you're putting into something. And you may be overburdening yourself, perhaps. Reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life and to see the humor in the situation. This energy of humor also is about enjoying life and having fun and playing. Also, I'm saying for someone that this Ten of Spring represents the end, the end of a burden, the end of something that's been on your mind. Maybe it's been weighing you down because you've wanted to do it, wanted to, you've needed to get something done, but you haven't been able to up to this point and the burden is released. The 10 is the end of the story. It is the finalization. So yes, I do see that. So uh, finalizing or finishing up a certain task and the sun energy your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. So this may be a work thing for you. You're, you're definitely being recognized for your efforts. But if it doesn't resonate in terms of work for you, um, this might be in your personal life or in a personal situation where your efforts will be recognized. The Six of Summer. The love and care of children 
could become an important part of your life, or people from your childhood may return to it. Old memories can be healed, or possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived. So this is about nostalgia. Someone from your past may be contacting you, or you may have an urge to reach out to them. Uh, this is uh, maybe contemplation and reflection on past circumstances also. The Ace of Summer. So it looks like something is in the past or being put to rest or there's a finalization. So you can have an upliftment. You can have freedom with your emotions and with your with your life. Um, so... Yes, even though this may have been difficult or may be if difficult if you're going through it at the moment, this finalization, this death energy connected to something that's happened in the past, there is definitely um, something very positive on the way here. And this is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romantic love or the rebirth of a current relationship or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights perhaps. But how this comes through will be very unique and special to you. The Four of Summer. You have definitely uh, taken your time in a, in a certain circumstance and maybe this wasn't completely how it was meant to go. Maybe things were meant to go a lot faster. Maybe you wanted things to move forward a lot quicker than they have. But you've taken your time and it will pay off. You are going to bloom, remember? You are, your prayers are going to be answered. Your responsibilities may, uh, may distract you from noticing all the gifts that God is presenting to you. So again, we have that message of an opportunity coming your way. Be open to investigating opportunities that come your way. Exactly. In the eight of autumn. So this is the perfect time. To, to learn and you might be going back to school perhaps uh, you might be reading or, or seeing a message from spirit in a book or the written word you might feel drawn to a particular learning um, learning a new skill or something um, so it is the perfect time to learn or you can um, this may be by returning to school or taking a seminar or conducting research you may be in study perhaps uh, do your best work and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement as well with this study or with this new um, information that you have gained. So let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. The answer is yes. So check in with your heart and see if this resonates for you or not. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.